tarantulas grow through a process called molting. Molting means the same thing as shedding. Tarantulas have an exoskeleton or shell covering their whole body. It's very hard over most of the tarantula's body so that it helps protect the tarantula from things that could harm it. Periodically, they molt or shed that exoskeleton and they have a new one underneath. And the new one, at first, when it first is um, exposed to the air by the shedding of the old exoskeleton that was covering it, the new one is soft. And while it's soft, that allows the tarantula to grow. And then the new exoskeleton hardens over a period of days and becomes that protection, that hard protection that the tarantula needs. So here are some tarantula molts. So you can see the legs and these things are the covering of the tarantula's head. Now, this molt right here comes from this tarantula, the Acanthoscuria theraphosidoes, or Brazilian black and white tarantula. Now, you can see in the tarantula that the abdomen, well, maybe you can't see, but the exoskeleton that covers the abdomen or the rear part of her body is soft and more flexible. It stretches as, for example, after a tarantula eats a meal, it stretches to accommodate the food that the tarantula has eaten. So it's not hard. So when the tarantula molts, that part of its body of the old exoskeleton just kind of shrivels up and you don't really see it. But everything that you can, every part of the tarantula's exterior does molt, including the fangs. And here you can see some fangs, some tarantula fangs. Now, the only time I recommend that you touch a tarantula fang is when it's already been molted. Now you can see these molts are various colors, like the Brazilian black and white. This molt has those beautiful colors from our tarantula. When most tarantulas are first hatched, they are kind of a drab brown or gray or black. I want to show you this tarantula. You can see her right there. She is a very young Mexican fire leg tarantula. Now, it doesn't look like her legs are the color of fire at all here, but let me show you one that's a little bit older. This is a young, not yet an adult, Mexican fire leg tarantula. And you can see that her legs are developing, the, developing this beautiful red color. And each time she molts, that color will become more and more prominent. It will become more and more of a bright red. So each molt, the tarantula becomes a little bit more like a, actually something that would look like it would be named a Mexican fire leg. This one's now hiding behind its water dish. Sometimes tarantulas change color in another way when they molt. So let me put this one's lid back on and show you another tarantula. So I'm also going to move our Brazilian black and white. And show you this little lady. She is a a, an uh, Afanapelma chalcodes or Arizona blonde or desert blonde tarantula. 
and you can see her head and her chelicerae, the front or the part above the fangs, and most of her legs are a light tan or blonde color. Now she's a female. Females and both males and females that are not fully grown yet have this coloration. But for a male, when it goes through its very last molt and becomes a complete adult mature tarantula and is not going to molt anymore, it changes its colors and goes from looking like this. Let me see if I can turn this around so you can see them better. To looking like this. This is my friend Wesley. And you can see that Wesley's legs now are completely dark and that also his cephalothorax and the top part of the cephalothorax, the front part of the body, is called a carapace. So his carapace is a coppery color. And Wesley often comes out of his enclosure. So I'm going to do this so that you can see his carapace and so that you can see the difference if we can zoom out a little bit to show both of these tarantulas in the same shot you can see that the male the mature male and the female have very different colorations so that is molting and some interesting things that happen when a tarantula molts Discover more at ambler.temple.edu forward slash science of scary.